this video we're going to see how to install Kismet on a Steam Deck from Valve and basically the benefits of using that. So first I will say from my experience uh, I like you know when it's like slick design and everything built in so usually I tend to do that with a laptop or even I would say a Raspberry Pi but here in that way you know it looks like a harmless device so Steam Deck okay it's not that handy you might say because there is no keyboard but what I'm looking here it's really a device that is like on a go so you could like play games something like that and turn your desktop mode and run a wireless network detection tool like Kismet which depend on the dongle you're going to to connect or even like the network card because um, Steam Deck has wireless Wi-Fi and Bluetooth uh, network so we are going to test here and see if like monitoring mode is like working seamlessly with the current distribution installed in the Steam Deck which is Arch and in a second step I will like plug in external um, network card um, which have like higher gain antenna for like Wi-Fi and even Bluetooth capabilities and maybe I will also like plug RTL SDR dongle in order to sniff for like 433 megahertz or even other type of protocol so that's pretty much it in this video so it's really a walkthrough so stay tuned we're going to see what kind of hardware we are going to use and how to install everything regarding the hardware it will be pretty easy here as nothing need to be soldered or anything it will be like the steam deck in the end so you know what it is and why I've chosen it here um, this is not mandatory you could like use indeed like the, the Steam Deck um, built-in like Wi-Fi antenna and module but if you want to have like long range and use um, Wi-Fi external adapter where you could like plug a high gain antenna this is what you need to go um, I mean just pick like uh, a good or decent like um, external antenna and here of course that's a USB cable um, for like the module here what we will need actually is a hub so here I'm being like um, with a cheap Amazon basics um, hubs this one have only one uh, USB-C adapter which here is kind of uh, limiting so some people will might need like to have like an additional uh, USB 3 hub here or better if you could already get yourself a proper USB-C hub with like several um, USB uh, ports because here what we really need is actually like um, a GPS uh, module the reason is why with Kismet every time we are going to capture some Wi-Fi information here we could like assign it to a GPS position which is going to be really handy when we will um, upload our data into Wiggle project I'm already connected to my Steam Deck so I'm connected with the regular user and I'm logged in with like the user of the desktop on the Steam Deck here I'm going to update my 
package, but first I need to disable the read-only uh, SteamWorks, okay? So now that's good. I could like make some change on the file system. And I'm going to update all like some package. So I didn't try this uh, installation beforehand. We are going to see if it's working. So on Arch, Kismet is on the package uh, dependencies and I mean on the repository and I don't want to, to install from uh, the sources. I just want to see if it's could go like go really fast like that. Okay, so far it's working, so no, I will run it. And here we go. So right now I'm able to start Kismet if I browse to this page with the Steam Deck. And that's what I'm going to do to, to try this out. So Kismet package is installed. I'm going to run it. And it needs root privilege. So I'm going to use sudo and here we go, it's running. And here I'm auto logged in here because I made already like a connection where I have first to set up my username and password. So Kismet do not have default username and password. That's something to keep in mind. Also what is neat here and we could see is the fact that the Steam Deck battery is being displayed here in Kismet um, web interface. And no, I'm not going to go all in because I'm running the Steam Deck via Wi-Fi here and if I set up like the wireless Wi-Fi in monitor mode, I'm going to be kicked out of my current uh, SSH connection, okay? So if you just want to run, let's say you're already uh, connected via um, the Steam Deck itself on its and Firefox web browser, or you are using any um, additional uh, network card. Like myself, I could have used my USB-C dongle, ARG45 Ethernet, but somehow I have like some uh, some issues. So I need to, to fix and testing with another dongle, but okay. So here, what you could actually activate by default is both module the so bluetooth and the wi-fi one and once you have like enabled both sources it will run them both in monitoring mode and you should have a list of ssid popping up here so i'm not going to go further here that's it for this video thank you for watching and stay tuned